Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is Echo. What's the date today? It's Wednesday, October 25th. 2017. Uh, just received this in the mail today. Mailman came late today. Usually comes... Well, the female that delivers usually comes about first thing in the morning. Uh, so, I just received this. Now, this is the uh, website of the author of this. And uh, I've been watching his videos for a long time. I, I have a... This is on the Panasonic FZ300. I don't know why I keep saying Z instead of Z. This is the FZ200 that I have, and it's a great, great camera. But of course, this FZ300 uh, is a, a big improvement. Here is uh, here's the one I have, the FZ200. And the new model is, you know, these are the same sensor, uh, same lens. Uh, by the way, the uh, zoom on this is 25 to 600. That's uh, that's really good. I, now, of course, there's a cam camera that I have been looking at online that uh, and it's fairly inexpensive, and it's got 24, I think, to 1,200 or whatever. But uh, I'm planning on getting the, and I mentioned this the other day a couple of times recently. I actually did purchase the FZ300, and I had it for about 28 days, and it broke. I've never had a camera ever break, not just digital cameras, but any camera ever break. Uh, and I, of course, got my money, all my money back from Amazon. Um, Kind of scary because, you know, I used a camera, the FZ300, and the last thing that I did before the camera broke was I uh, hooked up an external microphone to use to try out on it, and then and I tried it out, and then the next, and I turned the camera off, and I mean I listened to the audio and downloaded the audio and everything, but. Uh, the next day, I turned the camera on and just got an error message. I, I, all I got was an error message. And uh, I I think if, if I buy this camera, I think I'm going to be afraid to uh, plug anything into, you know, like an external microphone or whatever. And I hate that feeling. So I... Uh, I thought, well, if I get the, really what well, probably be the deciding thing, I'm going to try to hold off until the Black Friday sales and stuff start getting, you know, it's uh, almost November. We're getting ready for Christmas, you know. And uh, if there's a, a good deal on the G7, Panasonic G7, or maybe another camera, uh, maybe the one with the, the other is the FZ80 camera, and it's kind of an interesting camera, it's, uh, it looks like they, the Panasonic said, okay, let's just, let's just design a kick-ass uh, camera, and using our technology, and let's not care too much about the taking of photos, although of course you can take photos, and you can also out of the 4K, you can take the videos out from there, and they think they're 8K, I believe. Uh, anyway, so you can't, but uh, but the G7 I'd like to have, but and it's got everything 
my problem is it uses what's expensive. Uh, but it uses interchangeable lenses. I've had not digital cameras, but other before digital. Uh, and I know myself. I'm going, then I'm going to want to start getting, you know, uh, this great lens or whatever. And the lens, uh, some of the lenses, co you know, the camera cost about 600 and the uh, lenses, you know, one one lens is 600. So, but I think it's going to depend on what the, um, if there's a good deal. Here, by the way, this uh, Graham, he has a great website. I, well, I'll put the link below when I find it. And uh, he has great videos that are on YouTube about different cameras that he tries. But he doesn't try to cover all the cameras. He just covers ones that he likes that he uses. But he has this book you can get for $15 paperback. Uh, free, if you have, I guess, Amazon Prime, free shipping. I have Amazon Prime. Or you can get the uh, one with color photos in it. This does not have color photos in it. You can get it for $37. But if you purchase this, I'm not sure which number he wants. Must be the uh, maybe the this. I don't know. I forget now. <clears throat> but he'll send you for free, or you can download. Go to his site if you purchase this book. Uh, maybe it's the order number. Anyway, if you uh, purchase the book, you can download all the for free all of the uh, pictures that are in here. I don't really think I need need to do that. Uh, I just want to have it, <clears throat> of course it's kind of a waste if I don't get this FC300. I just want to have this, one or two tips, and there's a tremendous amount of information. And his YouTube videos are fantastic. You could just watch these, and I have watched his YouTube, and I'll, I'll go back, I'm sure, when I get the camera, and watch his YouTube videos again. So, I definitely recommend his site. Um... Uh, so back to my train of thought, and I can actually remember it. Oh, my God. I just had a couple White Castle's hamburgers, the little tiny ones with onion on them. And when I had my bulletin board system back before the World Wide Web, back before YouTube and all of those companies, uh, I had a bunch of discussion groups on there, and one of them was discussing who had the best hamburgers. Uh, I was in Kansas City, Missouri, and Kansas City, Missouri did not have a White Castles. And there were a bunch of people who lived elsewhere, you know, that were, oh, you know, arguing who had, and then finally White Castles came. And I just love White Castles. Uh, I don't know if we have any around in Texas. I don't know if we have any in Fort Worth, but you can buy them in the grocery store. Uh, and I, I got these at Walgreens today. Uh, what was it? Can't remember the price. Anyway, with this uh, FZ three hundred camera that I got that broke, so I'm I was thinking, you know, like last week. Okay, what I'll do? I never do that. What I'll do is buy. <clears throat> well, a couple times, but not for cameras, not for ham radios, not for. But uh, I have a couple times in the past. Oh, for a chair, I did that for one chair, I think. And I was not impressed with uh, with the, the insurance thing. But I thought, well, for this camera, since I had that trouble, I just feel a little safer. And so I, uh, okay, wait a minute. I want to go because I can have. Where did I go to? Well, now I don't know how to get there. Where do, where you can review the. Uh, anyway, I went to uh, the you know the where you get an insurance policy here. And. Uh,
I uh, clicked on the review. Oh my God, everybody giving them one star or two stars. I mean, you know, I mean, they have no favorable con. They had a lot of negative. I'm, I'm exaggerating. Yeah, there's several people said, oh yeah, great. But as expected, you know, uh, so I'm not going to waste my $50 or $42 on uh, one of those policies. They're supposed to, if you drop it, it's supposed to be covered. If you drop it in the lake, it's supposed to be covered. Uh, one guy said that uh, he contacted them and uh, said that, you know, he accidentally knocked it off the table. And they replied that uh, they don't cover items that are not held in your hand or, you know, whatever, by being on the table. You know, they, he would have to, I guess, hold it in his hand and do it on the floor and they wouldn't cover that either. And there was people that commented that no matter what, when you read their details, they don't cover anything. Everything there is. So... If I get this camera, I'm just going to have to have that little nagging in me. So if I have to go and if uh, G7 is on sale on Black Friday or something. Although, like I said, I uh, uh, I just know myself. I'm going to want to... You know, pick up lenses, and I really cannot afford to be doing that. Although the the standard lens that comes with the uh, FC three hundred, if you're interested in any, I'll put links to the <clears throat> these cameras also below, and I'll put a link to the uh, let's see. Can I open this in a tab F? Z80. Here it is. So, uh, I've watched all the reviews on all these cameras. And you see this is $400. Uh, 4K. And it has a zoom. 60X zoom. Uh, It's, and I really don't need that powerful zoom, but, but the price is right. Gets good, you know, gets good reviews. I've gone to the sites where you have, you can pull up two cameras side by side by side and you can see the comparison between them and whatever. But I think I need to go with the FZ300 or with the G7. With the FC 300, I'm going to be always worrying, is this thing going to, if I got the G7, I'll be happy. If I can get a good price, that's, uh, that's probably the way I should go. <clears throat> See, what else did I want to talk about? Did I cover everything? I, this is not a review of these, can't, you know. Except, let me say that uh, this FZ 200 does not do 4K. It's not waterproof, or of course they say not. The FZ 300 is not waterproof. It's uh, water and dust resistant or something. But <clears throat> if you don't need 4K, this also does not have a touch screen. The FC 300 has a touch screen, uh, but this is one hell of a camera. And if you want a small, you know, point and shoot compact camera, I have the uh, LX7 Panasonic LX7, <clears throat> and it's well. Let's see what the price is on it. It's of course they have an, they have the LX10 out now. Let's see here. Uh, LX7. And 
Looks like it's, let's see, it's the international model. Well, there it is, $600. Good grief. It's a good camera, it really is, but... Was, it, was that the 10? Wait a minute. No, the 7. $600, gosh. Uh, X7, let's see what this is. They're not showing the price. <coughs> I guess it's from... But anyway, it's uh, 10 megapixels, 11 frames per second shooting, uh, 1080, you know, video. Uh, great camera. Let's see what the hell they charge for the Alex 10. LX10, $650. Well, for a pocket, if you want a pocket camera, I mean, I would not, I would not spend that, uh, I hate to think what I did spend for this, but I wouldn't spend that type of money. Now, I see they have the, so what's used, $250 for the LX7 in a used condition. Uh, I'd spend $250 for this camera, but I don't buy used cameras. I mean, I if the condition is in perfect condition. I would pay $250 for this camera. It is a fantastic camera, but my God, I would pay. I wouldn't pay $650, but if you wanted something to slip in your pocket, that's the camera. But I. There's probably others that are, but, so I just received this book today and I'm going to go through it and mark some things that I want, to, uh, settings that I want to set on the camera when I get it, if I get it. And uh, also there's some menu settings that I really don't know, even though I have the two, of course they have some new ones, but there's some menu settings that I'm not sure what the heck is, you know, but if you watch uh, Graham's videos, uh, he covers all that in great detail, so. Anyway, that's what I uh, wanted to say to you. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas weather's pretty decent down here now. In the summertime, it's brutal, the heat. And they don't really have really bad winters usually. But uh, right now, the weather's just starting to change. And Excuse me. That's what I wanted to talk about a little bit. What I am planning on doing with whichever cam, the next camera that I get, I'm going to try to. Uh, although I love this setup, you know, I have, I can pull up the easily the. Uh, what I want you to see and what I want to talk about, and I want to talk about the FZ three hundred, right? And then you can see me. But uh, what I'm thinking about doing is setting up whichever camera I get, let's say the FZ300 on a tripod and using that to record the video. Now I wonder how I could, I think you can bring in, I believe if you hook up a cable from the camera into my computer. I think that would work. So I think I could still have uh, 
what I want to show you up on the screen and have the video here and then of course I have a program that captures the screen so I think that's the way I could go so I wouldn't lose the this ability uh, worried a little bit about the audio <laughs> if I get this I don't want to uh, oops wrong camera I'm afraid I'd be afraid to plug in something so and I don't want to go with uh, of course if I'm recording the screen I could capture the audio but what I wanted to start doing too is actually using the camera to get away from the desk and go out someplace and I want to go to the zoo I have not been to the Fort Worth Zoo I haven't been to the zoo since my kids were little and that was in Kansas City I was in Miami they have a nice zoo there uh, never went it was easy to get to I didn't go but I do want to go to the zoo and two, I want to make some really nice zoo photos and especially with you know zoom and, and four 4k but I thought well that'd be right I thought I can really do a I keep wanting to talk to this other camera so I thought well you know I can I can I'm not great at taking you know making taking you know it's I'm one of those people I, I want always want the latest camera I never use or cell phone or whatever it is or ham radio and eh, I never use the functions the ham radio I don't hardly ever use uh, <clears throat> but uh, I keep thinking if I just had a better camera but it's really I know people and we've seen pictures ancient pictures you can find pictures back in the early days of photography that you go wow man and the person was you know using the flash powder and burning it on to uh, uh, you know f f film and so it it's not the camera somebody who's got talent and ability and whatever can make fantastic photos and videos with whatever they're handed but I always think you know if I, but anyway I I thought I could make some really good videos out at the, at the zoo and a bunch of people would come in and I went to the YouTube Fort Worth Zoo site and they have some great videos that apparently they all you know there's I think I think there's YouTubers there that it, well you can find them anyway by you know YouTube and Fort Worth Zoo or <clears throat> but I went there on YouTube for the Fort Worth Zoo and they were great you know videos I think they were professionally done and they had very few views so but there's some other things I want to make some videos of by the way well I won't go into that I just uh, I'll just mention it uh, you know YouTube has been demonetizing a lot everybody's videos if you uh, mention certain, a, a, a word in your uh, tags, like I reviewed a, years ago, a pill cutter, it gets a lot, got a lot of hits. You know, it was a very short video and showed how to cut a pill and whatever. And it got I forget how many hits. A lot of traffic actually for me, and. Uh, <laughs> They demonetized it because I had drug or something in the, you know, medication or the word drug or something. Um, then I made a video when these uh, Dallas police officers were shot. Uh, the police officers were shot defending uh, black protesters there from, the, that's where a guy shot from a garage down, you know, uh, killing the police officers. And uh, I made a video that just said, "Hey, you know, this you know this shows you, you know, here's police officers who lost their lives defending uh, people's rights to, you know, protest and you know First Amendment rights and whatever." And uh, that was demonetized as not being uh, 
advertiser friendly. Actually, I had that one I had intended to mark. A lot of these I do myself. I mark them not to monetize them because I didn't want to make any money you know, off of a police officer being shot or anything like that. Although there was no video or anything, that it was just me talking. But I actually forgot to demonetize it. Well, then they demonetized it, you know, for me. Uh, which, so I wasn't a big time upset. It's just the idea. Anyway, they, uh, what's the video? I just happened to stumble. Somebody left a comment on it. What was it about? Oh, oh, a medication thing. I could show it to you, but you might have seen it before. I, uh, for my son, uh, years ago, I having trouble getting him to take his medication, and this thing has 30 different things, and you turn them over when they're, uh, well, let's see here, hang on. Oh, Amazon. Orders. Uh, let's do try medication. Okay, well, oh, what in the hell do you call that? Then you put your pills like this. Well, this is actually, this is actually out of that thing. Each day I pull this out. So what the hell do you call it? Uh, mind melt. Uh, never mind. Anyway, uh, somebody left a comment asking what about a, another type of uh, container for your, you know, from another company. So I went and checked that and then I answered, you know, back, well, those, those things look, uh, you know, look good also. And uh, then I noticed it was demonetized. And, it, and so I did, I almost never... They give you the, op the option of uh, having the thing reviewed, you know. And I thought, to hell, oh, and it had, uh, what was it? Was it 5,000 people had watched it? Something, a lot of people had watched that video. Of course, it was from several years ago. But I thought, to hell, you know. And so I went and requested that it be, when I first, and I watched it, I hate watching go back and watch my old videos but sometimes I do because I don't remember what was in it and sometimes somebody says this or that so I have to try to watch it but uh, and I thought that that's a good video tell somebody you know and I even updated it I had got the medical there the uh, hang on don't touch the mouse I, uh, I got it for my son, but he, to try to get him to take his medication, get him to remember to take it, and he just wouldn't use it, said he didn't like it, or whatever, and uh, he ended up losing, using these for plant seeds in them, or do, I don't know what all, uh, and then it ended up being used for storage, some of them got lost, so kind of, and then it got used for putting different things in there, rings and different things went into the thing, so. So then years later, I end up, for the first time in my life, having to take medication, really. So I got one for myself. <laughs> and then I found out, at the end of the month, I have to, Spread all, spread all these out. Have to open them up, and then put the. And there's a bunch of medications. I have to uh, go and, you know, all th 
through all 31 of them and put the pills in. It's kind of hard to get them in, you know. Usually a few get dropped. Once something gets dropped, I, even on my desk, well, once it gets dropped, that's, uh, it goes in the trash, which is no big deal. But, so there'll be a few that things go in the trash. It's hard to get them in there. Uh, if I have a long sleeve shirt on, I'll, I'll be knocking the container off. And it's a pain in the butt, actually, to do it. Once you get it done for the month, it's uh, it's okay and it's nice. Uh, this is for today, and I I took my as you can see I, it's empty. I took my morning meds. Oh, I already took them. There's one left I haven't taken yet, but then there's a the morning that. But uh, so uh, I've drifted away, but. On something like this that I did a review on it, I went back and then commented about the fact, well, you know, it's very useful, very neat, and uh, everything, but once a month, I just hate it when I have to uh, go and I don't want to run over the thing that I stick in me to... Uh, Check my blood. I guess it'll give me an excuse to bring this to a conclusion and follow that. Do that little chore. Crunch. So, oh, here it is. Okay. See, you can dial. It's on three. And there's the. Th Let's see. Now there's different ways, different, you know, this is one company and it depends on how your doctor, you know, who he writes it up for and he probably gets a kickback, I don't, you know. Uh, so then, can you see the, there you can barely, you know, there you can see the needle. But of course you put this on, you cock it. And then you press that button, and the needle comes out. And of course, the thing on the back, I just leave it on three. And I always thought that, uh, I thought, I hope I never get, got to remember the things loaded. I always thought, oh, man, I hope I don't get diabetes, because I couldn't stick myself. I thought, this thing's loaded like a guy, better not. But I kept thinking, you know, oh, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to pull back, you know, whatever. I don't, and it doesn't. 90% uh, of the time, 95% of the time, I really don't even feel it. But uh, sometimes, I don't know, maybe it hits a little nerve or something. It does kind of hurt a little bit. But I thought I would never be able to. I thought, I better not get, better not get diabetes. I have type 2 diabetes. So I better not get diabetes. I won't be able to stick myself. Now, of course, if you have type 1 diabetes, you're taking insulin uh, or something, then I think generally you have to test yourself multiple times per day. That would be, that would suck. Here, <clears throat> when I first was diagnosed with, I checked myself every morning, just in the morning, and got the number, and... Uh, and the doctor was very happy when I went back. I had the, uh, it's on my, I printed it out for him because I have an app and uh, printed it out and he was very happy with my results and very happy that I had, he said, wow, how did you do this, you know? Because he wanted to be able to tell his other patients or whatever. But since then, I, I very seldom do I actually do it. But I would sure hate to, and you if you're uh, insulin dependent, you need to take, you know, you need to take it. If you're, you know, yeah, you need to take it. I worked with a nurse, a young, attractive uh, RN, and she had it, uh, she had diabetes bad. 
I, I doubt she's a, she was very young. Uh, I, I doubt she's alive now. Her blood sugar would actually go to zero. And doctors and medical people couldn't believe. She had to give the key to her apartment to the fire department. So when the EMTs came, they wouldn't have to break her door down. The night of paramedics, when the paramedics came, that uh, they wouldn't break her door down anymore. They could just unlock the door because it was getting kind of expensive. Uh, at the hospital, she worked in the emergency room, and the first time I, I, uh, I was working at the hospital, and uh, two nurses were, you know, supposed to be on duty. Well, they were on duty, but. Uh, Virginia, the older nurse, uh, said, uh, Jim, call Chris. She's not here. And I said, well, she's only five minutes, you know, five minutes late. And she said, no, call. See see where, what's going on with her. And I said, but Virginia, it's, you know, five minutes. She's not, you know. And she said, uh, Jim, she has diabetes. Uh, so call. So I called, and sure enough, uh, we had to send the paramedics, you know, over there. But anyway, when she was working there in the emergency room, uh, she would uh, sometimes she would head for the bathroom, and she told me uh, she kind of regarded me as a, I'll say father, but I think probably a grandfather, and. Uh, she said, Jim, you know, in private, she said, Jim, the reason that I, she didn't know what she was doing, you know, but when her blood sugar would go low, she'd say, the reason that I try to get into the bathroom is uh, because I, you know, wet myself one time. And she says, I don't know, you know, my brain's not working good enough to know that I need to take some wind juice or something. It just knows that I need to get to the bath, you know, get to the bathroom. And of course, <laughs> I had instructions that if, if she was having one of her, you know, not to let her get to the bathroom. So, but usually what, what I think always happened, she would be, well, I guess it might happen when we didn't have some patients, but we were usually always busy. She'd be standing by a patient at the cart side. Luckily, she didn't do anything, you know, like decide to do heart surgery or something. But... Uh, she would just be standing there, and then usually Virginia would be the first. Sometimes I got where I caught it, but it usually be because Virginia, I think, was watching for it. Virginia would say, Jim, uh, Chris needs some orange juice. And I'd take her and give her some orange juice. And then it seemed to me that she was back functioning normal. But then later I asked, uh, I, when I was talking to her, I said, Chris, uh, you know, when I, when I give the orange juice or whatever, you seem to me like you're pretty normal and everything. Uh, are you, you know, how, and she said, no, it, it's actually, you know, takes a little longer than, you know, than that. Um, one time I was there in a little tiny room. We weren't, I think the ER was kind of busy, but a uh, very small room. It was kind of like a break room for the nurses or whatever. And I was in there, and Chris was sitting there. And across from her was the uh, ER clerk who checks patients in. And her boyfriend, the ER clerk's boyfriend, had brought her over her lunch from McDonald's or whatever. So they were sitting in there. I was standing there, and Chris was sitting, sitting, <laughs> sitting there across from them. And then uh, Chris just reaches over and uh, takes a, one of their hamburgers and starts eating their hamburger and then eating their fries or something. And I was like, uh, what's going on here, you know? And then, of course, the uh, ER clerk was the same thing. Like, this is strange, you know? And then, of course, the guy was, uh, he was a firefighter and, par <coughs> and paramedic. And he was looking at her like a little bit, like a little bit of ang you know, a little bit angry, like you know, I thought. And uh, then it hit me that Chris's blood sugar had gone, you know, gone down. But 
Anyway, I guess I could have made this into one of my story videos, couldn't I? I haven't added that in a long time. I've got, uh, I think, forget what I call them, my story videos where I tell you a story. Oh, I did want to tell you, though, uh, uh, Chris, you know, she, she didn't have diabetes. Well, she got a sort of a rare form of cancer and a bad one and it did not look good for her. And of course she had to have surgery and they, ha you know, they didn't accidentally, they, you know, they damaged her pancreas and they had, to, you know, it had to be done. She had the, an aggressive form of cancer and she recovered from the cancer and ended up with a severe form of diabetes. And uh, then what's also very strange is that several years later, uh, Chris had a uh, sister and uh, her sister developed the same type of cancer and the doctors and were whoever, I don't know, scientists or doctors or whatever, wanted, had them both, did some tests on both of them to find out why this strange, rare form of cancer would turn up in, you know, two family members. Um, Chris was a, was a really, really nice person. Um, she should not have been working, in my opinion. I got into trouble with that nurse I told you about, the older nurse, uh, uh, Virginia, because Chris kept having these incidents, you know, the paramedics having to respond and whatever, and I said, uh, I was talking to Virginia about her, and Virginia was talking to me about her, and I said, you know, Chris should not be working midnight shifts. She should be working the day shift. She should not be working in the emergency room. She should be, work she should be working in a doctor's office where she gets, you know, where she can take a, a lunch and whatever. And Virginia, you know, Virginia liked me. And not at the very beginning, but then she, but she jumped all over me like, oh, you know, I, for, I forget what her, I couldn't believe it, that she didn't see that, uh, you know, the best, that was a wrong job for, uh, for Chris. One time, one of our nurses was a helicopter nurse. Uh, and she was driving not to our hospital because she worked also at the main hospital. She was going to where she worked in the emergency room. Uh, so she was heading down to the main hospital and she's going down to work and she sees an ambulance stopped and she sees, you know, were, I'm not sure if they stopped because they were picking her up or if they were had her in the ambulance and then they had to fight with her. But uh, she's driving down and she sees this, the two paramedics struggling with a female. And uh, so she stops and goes over to assist, assist them and they're, they say something about, uh, oh, you know, she's intoxicated. And of course, the nurse recognizes Chris, our nurse, our young nurse. And she said, no, she's diabetic. And then they checked, you know, checked her. And then that's, you know, that's what was making her uh, appear to be intoxicated. Okay. Uh, I don't know how in the world I'm going to list this. I'm just going to list this as a uh, video blog. But you'll know that it's more than a video blog, won't you? Well, probably none of you got this far. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching. If you have any recommendations about uh, I'd like to stick with Panasonic. So, what we're talking about is I really can't afford like the GH5 or whatever, which is a thousand over a thousand dollars. I can afford with some savings here. I can afford a 
the G7. But I think I'm right. If you have any uh, recommendations, but don't recommend. I've used Canon. I've purchased Canons. I've used Canons. I do think I want to stick with Panasonic. I do like Panasonic, so don't recommend a Sony or whatever. But if you have any recommendations about, you know, the the 80, uh, 300, uh, you know, FC 300 or the G7, uh, leave a comment. Thank you very much.